there's a lot of talk over clean tech these days and uh, we have mr vijeta shastri who has just concluded a workshop on the same field so tell me what exactly was the workshop about sure so this is in collaboration with the wwf so wwf is worldwide fund so they have been focusing a lot on climate control and clean tech innovation in the sme and startup sector in india right so what they have been doing is in fact one of the panel speakers who was there so from carbon masters they work with people innovators startups founders who are able to use innovation and technology to make an impact and ultimately what we in thai believe is that you know we must collaborate around the ecosystem our belief is around fostering entrepreneurship working with innovators and startups bring together platforms of interaction where you will have the vcs so we had shah menon from bharat fund we had so from carbon masters and of course we had the fantastic institute of indian institute of science so we actually had uh, professor um, uh, mani also here with the support of wwf we also recently did it with thai in delhi and now we are doing it here in bangalore and very soon we'll be rolling out the details of the program where startups can apply for these programs they can take advantage of the various opportunities been taken giving to them and the focus here is to ensure that it's a win win everyone wins we do have a challenge in india in terms of the environment and the climate and waste management and pollution so what can be done by these profits with the support of uh, the government and the wwf and also a lot of uh, interaction was happening you know in terms of many people are asking about how the whole sustainability can be funded is it a viable business uh, for the vcs yes, yes. and how do you think uh, the funding will come from the sustainability yeah. so i think sham uh, from sham and then from uh, bharat fund gave a very clear thing right so this mandate starts from the top so where does the money for these funds come from it comes from the large pension funds from philatron you know from, from the very uh, rich individuals across the world okay there is activism there is a movement people have understood and unless you really pay attention to what is happening in the world of climate control in terms of the pollution that we have the carbon emissions that we have right and it is not just a global uh, thing and it is just something like for time pass and it's a fashionable thing to talk about this is serious all of us are falling sick right there is a problem with water there is a problem with our air enough said about that unless and until we as citizens as consumers we come together and change our behaviors we push each other we push our governments we push our innovators and that's where funding will come in because i think uh, it's a not a nice thing to say but ultimately returns and roi also has to happen right so on clean tech on energy audits on uh, climate control the returns in terms of absolute value of money has not come in of course social impact is important a lot of investors are saying that look it's okay to get a lower rate of return but the impact that we can do on society is huge you can cut down a lot of subsidies right you can cut down a lot of unnecessary expenditure on things that are actually harmful to the environment so the way the trends are happening and we must watch this space very closely because it's important for our health it's important for the future generations to come so funding will continue steadily incrementally they need to understand that this technology is solving a big problem it's helping the environment it's having a social impact more money will come in even if the returns are not spectacular sustainability the business uh, angle to it yeah, and that's very very important yeah, it is right? important yeah, it is yeah. very important yeah. there has to be an roi exactly right. and thanks to speaking to sustain smart sustain thank you very much yeah thank you take thank care you.